What's going on guys? Back at it again with a brand new series here on the channel. This is probably the Fallout community's favorite Fallout game. And for good reason. It's definitely up there on one of my favorites. Uh, the only reason it's not my favorite is because a certain other game that's already being played, Fallout 3, is my favorite. But that I think that mainly has something to do with the nostalgia effect behind it. It was my very first Fallout game and it was the game that got me into the series. So because of that, I think it holds a little bit more weight in my opinion. However, I will say this. Fallout New Vegas has some of the best stories in this game. And it has some of the best just overall themes and concepts in this game. At least for me and my personal opinion. I love this game. And you know what? You have every right to believe that this is the best uh, Fallout game, and that's for good reason as well. But I have played this game before, but I definitely am going to start a new character here, obviously, for the channel. But just so you guys know, in Good Springs, there's a specific person that you have to save in order to get the whole idolized uh, f uh, re reputation, I guess, uh, with Good Springs. So I will do a hard save right before I get to that point and that's probably probably gonna be one of the only times I'm ever going to reload if I mess up because if I don't get idolized in good springs it's gonna bother me and it always has I don't know why don't yell at me in the comments but <laughs> hopefully we do it first try but we'll see we'll get to that point uh, when we get to that point but for now do me a huge favor drop a like on this video if you're excited for this series as much as I am and also, if you're not already, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel because this is just the beginning of a very long series. So with that being said, let's jump into this. And just like that, demonetized. Please do me a favor and drop a like. Great song though. changes when atomic fire consumed the earth those who survived did so in great underground vaults when they opened their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies establishing villages forming tribes as decades passed what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. 
the Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business, under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink, dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. So, that was definitely amazing. It gave me the chills. It's been so long since I've played this game, and it makes me feel absolutely wonderful inside, man. I can't wait to play this. Alright, gotta go through all the DLC stuff. Yeah, Tribal, got it. You're awake. How about that? Whoa, easy there. Easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. You don't say. Why don't you just relax a sec? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Um. Complex name, I know. Uh, just so you guys know, I am playing on PC. I don't know if I mentioned this before. I am playing on PC, but I'm using an Xbox One controller as per usual. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. Probably did. How'd I do? Uh, so definitely a male. Hispanic. Uh, presets. We'll go with. God, that's something I've always hated about Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. These character models are fucking ugly, dude. Like, there is no good option. Fuck it, I'm choosing this one. Age, we'll go about there. I don't. Whatever. Hairstyle. Um, we'll keep it similar to what I had in my Fallout 4, or Fallout 3 video, or playthrough, um, survivalist, no, rough beard, uh, we'll go with rough beard, that works, are you sure you want this to be your character, yeah, I'm absolutely sure, right anyway, stuff that mattered, okay, no sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. Yes, sir. All right, also, I need to turn on subtitles. Uh, display? General subtitles on. There we go. All right. Go ahead and give the bigger tester a try. Yes, sir. Right quick if you get back all your faculties. 
All right. So I already know, uh, or at least have a good idea of what I want. So strength, uh, strength is gonna be at. Oh god, what am I doing? He's gonna be at five. Perception, six. Uh, endurance, uh, six. Charisma. Oh god, this is gonna be terrible. <laughs> oh wait, what am I doing? I'm doing this. I'm doing this wrong. Hold on. All right, let's go all the way back. Strength. I'm looking at the points to go. So strength is going to be five. Perception is going to be six. Endurance is going to be six. Charisma. This guy's going to be not likable because he's going to be a one. <laughs> uh, intelligence, an eight. Does this give me more um, skill points? Yes, it does. So, uh, intelligence, eight. Agility, seven. And luck, seven. So let's verify strength, five. Perception, six. Endurance, six. Charisma, one. Intelligence, Eight agility and luck both at seven, so we're good. Huh. Must be some frontal lobe damage. Well, we <laughs> but that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered in a big horn and drop. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? Yes, sir. What do we got going on here, sir? All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. Cat. House. Computer. Ah, oh, wait, no, wait, not yet. Shelter. Night. Uh, dream. Bandit. Uh, bribe. Light. Dark. Mother. Father. No father? Human shield. <laughs> What was it? Mother? Caretaker. Fuck it. Okay. Now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. Um. I don't really have an opinion. I don't disagree with that though. Uh, it is in my nature. Okay, so I... It's one of those... Okay, I'll just put no opinion. I ain't Fuck it. given to relying on others for support. Um, disagree. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. Uh, no opinion. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. Disagree. Actually, strongly disagree. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Strongly agree. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. Um, um, I don't know what I see. A broken chain, I guess? Okay. How about this one? A jet plane. Um, too embarrassed to say what it looks like? What the hell is, where the hell's my mind at? Some piece of space age technology? I mean... That's more along the lines of what I was thinking. Last one. Two bears high-fiving. A uh, bear pillow, mushroom cloud, a bearded man. Actually, kind of looks like a... Kind of looks like a bearded man. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Um. Hold on. All right. Well, first things first. Let's uncheck everything. So, this, the skills. I'm probably I'm gonna do something because I'm gonna need them for the whole Good Springs thing. And then right before we left, uh, leave, we'll put in what I actually want to put it in. So. I'll do barter. 
Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Barter. Explosives. So Trudy's gonna need speech. Uh, medicine has to be at 30, which is fine because if I use the the book, I would be fine. Crap. Um, explosives. Or bar. Oh, I don't remember. So Trudy is gonna need speech or sneak that I remember if I remember correctly. But I, I could also use a stealth boy, and then she will be able to be convinced. Explosives for easy Pete, that's going to be 25. Uh, Doc Mitchell, you're going to need 30 of medicine. Um, and then barter for, what's his name? Um, the dude in the shop. I think this is going to be good for now. All right, we'll try it. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. What's that? I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. You'd be surprised. I'm just kidding. So definitely built to destroy is a priority for me. Uh, the flamer that burns twice as bright burns half as long. All weapons have plus three chance to... Cr to uh, critically hit, but equipment de uh, condition decays 15% faster. So that's that's important to me. I like that one. I was initially thinking about getting um, wasteland, uh, wild wasteland, but it's not going to be very useful for me. So I'm actually going to go with fast shot. Uh, while using guns and energy weapons, specifically because I'm going to be focusing on energy weapons. Uh, while using guns and energy weapons, you're fire, uh, you fire 20% more quickly, but your shots are 20% less accurate. So I'm not really worried about the accuracy because for the most part, I'm going to be up close and personal. I'm not going to be sniping, so this is pretty good for me. So let's go ahead and go with that. All right, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. Yes, sir. Well, it's a sight that I didn't want to see. Um, I think there's like a book of medicine around here. Uh, I kind of want to look around. Get out of my way. Maybe over here? It's been a while, man, since I've played this. So the good thing is that nothing in here is, for the most part, is set to owned pretty much. At least nothing too important. Legit, I don't remember it. Well, I'll take those stim packs for sure. Metal box, medical brace, searching tube, no. Energy cells, absolutely. Laser weapon, absolutely. I'll take that too. Alright, let me look over here. The foot locker is empty. Buffalo Gourd Seed. Uh, Red X Stim Packs. Alright, I'll take those two. Absolutely. Ammo. 5.56, 9mm. Alright. I might be... Wrong. What is that? Small Burned Book. Okay. Yes, I know. I gotta follow him out. All right, just just hold hold on, hold hold your horses for a second. All right. No, thank you. Am I gonna be naked all day? Door. Uh, doesn't appear to be nothing in here. Could have sworn there was a magazine to help with um medicine and stuff. All right, screw it. Let's go. Here, these are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. 
They call it a pip boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style anyway. Uh, thanks for patching me up, Doc. Uh, don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. Uh, hardcore mode? Nah, I'm not gonna go with hardcore. Alright, let's go ahead and bounce out of here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get Doc Mitchell to help us. Okay, yes. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Alright, hold on really quick. Can I check my skills here? Yes, I can. So I have Barter at 23. I'm gonna need a magazine for that. For sure. Um, explosives at 33, so I should be able to talk to Easy Pete easily. Um, medicine, I'm gonna need eight. Um, speech, 25. I'm good with that. Oh, wait, Barter. Barter's the last one. Barter's at 23, so I'm gonna need a magazine for that. Hey, what's up, buddy? Howdy, partner. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Uh, thanks for digging me out of that grave. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. Uh, how did you happen to find me? I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Uh, do you know the men who attacked me? Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town not be able to help you out with that. How did you end up in Good Springs anyways? I moved into town, oh, 10, 15 years ago. Before that, I... Mm, I can't quite seem to recall. Odd. Anyway, it's a right peaceful town, and I reckon it's as fine a place to settle as any. It is pretty odd. Uh, I've never seen a robot like you before. I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 26 can be. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. Sounds good. Well, it was nice talking to you, Victor. Happy trails. Toodles. All right, so there's a possibility that um, a magazine fixing things, uh, repair plus 10, I'll take that. But a magazine for explosives can show up there. I don't, okay, yes, yes. I don't think I need explosives. We're good on explosives, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Oh my God, yes. All right, where's, uh, Sunny. Is she out back or is she inside? I think she's inside. There goes Easy Pete's old ass. <laughs> What's up? Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Uh, Doc Mitchell said you can teach me to survive in the desert? Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Sounds good. I'll just follow you, I suppose. Well, here, really quick. I don't know if I can fix this radio. No, I can't fix it right now. Oh, shucks. It's about time, Sonny. Alright, where's she at? Oh, she's over here. Damn, she can walk fast. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Yes, ma'am. Uh, let's go ahead and equip it. 
Okay, got that laser pistol. No. Oh, I already have it equipped it. All right. Let's go ahead into sneak mode, man. Be a little bit more sturdy. I'm not sure if that got it. Look down the sight. Start crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Next shot. Well, that's a start. Good. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Nope. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Uh, okay, I'm in. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. Let's go. First things first, let's go ahead and reload. It feels good to be back in this game, man. This game is so good. Does F5 save this? I mean, I think it should, but doesn't right now because I'm using a controller, of course. Alrighty, what we got going on, homegirl? You gonna show me what to fight yet, or what's up? What in the world is going on right now? It's a long trek to fight some geckos. Get out of my way, Cheyenne. Alright, this should be the location right there. Waiting on you, Sonny. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? Nope. We got some geckos to clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Sounds good. Alright, uh, they're a little far for me to shoot very accurately, but I'm going to go ahead and take a shot anyways. I don't see them. Alright, I see one. Crap. Woo! Took care of them. I don't need any of that, man, to be honest. Alright, let's go ahead and do a save really quick. And then we'll talk See? to her. You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Caps? Don't mind if I do. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. Just the two of us. <laughs> Alright, this should be... This The second one should be pretty easy. The third one is the one where we have to save that one girl. And it is an... A, it can be a bitch. You have to be quick. Come over here, homie. Okay. No, not you. Not you. No, wait. It was you. No, that's Cheyenne. What's going on here? Alright. Save. Alright. Now, we need to come over here as quickly as possible. Because we got to take care of these guys over here. Come on, baby. Um. All right, we're good for now. Come on, no. Oh, no. Oh, she died. Damn it. All right, load. That's what I was talking about. It's seriously in a bitch sometimes. If you're not perfect, she dies. But you need her to survive in order for you to become idolized. Oh, 
Oh god, I think I'm good. Did I do it? I did. Well, that's the end of that. All right, let's go talk to Sunny. No, come here. Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Well, it did. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Yeah, sure. Why not? All right then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some xander root and a brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. Okay, sounds good. Um, let's talk to her. Holy moly. If you hadn't come here like you'd done, I'd be a goner for sure. Yes, you would've. I came up here to draw water, but here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. Yay! Uh, accepted. Folks have come to accept you for your helpful, helpful nature. What do we need? Xander fruit and, um... Brock flower. Okay, so there's Brock flowers by the school, and then there's Xander f stuff over there by the uh, water tower. Alright, we should actually save, do a hard save for the last time here. Well, not for the last time in the game, but because uh, if you don't walk a certain way, you can go into the A hey, if are you happy with your build? Whatever, before you go too far, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Alright, let's get our gun ready because we're getting close. Believe it or not, the uh, varmint rifle is actually one of my favorite rifles to start off with, man. It's actually, especially once you get all the mods for it, man, it's actually pretty, it's a pretty good weapon, dude. Not for end game, of course, but it's definitely good. Oh god. Um. Whoa, yay! You! Please die. What? There we go. Is the other one coming? Okay. That's why I choose Vats. <laughs> All right, let's get this Brock va uh, flowers somewhere. Somewhere around. Is that? Yeah, these are it right here. Oh, these are Xander root. That means the Brock flowers are on the water tower. Can I jump over this? Ali, you. We got a nice little trek all the way up there. We need to check all of the um, mailboxes on the way up, though. Sunset Sarsaparilla, sure, why not? Alright. We got a long way to go. Uh, I don't... Is there any more... Okay, yeah, I was about to say, is there any more mailboxes? This one has nothing. Yay, me! So there's a house... That has a magazine around here somewhere. I want to say it was over there. Cherry bomb. I, I've never really understood what the point of the cherry bombs are. I want to say it's this house. Um. Maybe not. Doesn't look like it's this one either. Oh god. It might be this one though. I think it's it should be this one. Can I go in here? No. Then maybe it's this one? Honestly, I don't I don't remember. It's been so long. Um, well, the answer is no. I don't remember where it is, and it's fine. Honestly, it... It might be this house. Let's check it out real quick. It's not gonna hurt anyone to, uh... 
to look. I really wish that uh, we had fast travel though, or uh, sprint. All right, screw it. Let's go to the water tower and get the uh, Brock flowers. The only thing about that is that there is some enemies up there. Locksmith. What do you have for me? Nothing. Besides some lockpicks, of course. What is over here? Shows... Okay, we got a uh, scorpion. Ah! Wrong button. Eh, whatever. It's gonna kill him anyways. Alright, let's go. Luckily for us, we're hidden again. But now, we gotta take care of... Potentially someone or something a little harder only because it moves and it flies Where did it? Come on, baby All right got one of them Come on Oh god Screw it, let's get closer. It's over here by my grave. Who saw me? Alright, I got that guy. This guy's standing still, so... Let's take this dude out. Come on, one left. Hell yeah! Those are great shots. There it is. Brock flower. Oh, wait a minute. Cigarettes. Let me take another one, just in case. <laughs> this is where they, were, where they buried me. Alright, so now we gotta go back to Sunny. We're gonna go around this way, we're gonna go through the town and then head in that direction because if I go straight that way, it's gonna kinda go into that one screen that I was talking about earlier. The If you go further, you have to be okay with your character. And I'm not okay with my character yet. I wanna put um, some more, um, what are they called? Uh, points in, I wanna switch out my traits. Or not traits, man, what the fuck, my uh, my tag skills, there we go. All right, so now we'll go through here and make our happy little butts in that direction. Definitely holster our weapon so we can run a little faster though. Cause it can be excruciatingly slow. If I have it, if I have it out. All right, anything interesting here? Uh, sure. There's two mailboxes here. Let's check these out. Eh, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that too. Actually, there's one right here. You never know when we'll get a good magazine like this. Energy weapons plus 10. Alrighty. This should be the last couple. Wonder glue. No, thank you. I'm not much of a crafter, man. I know that kind of like is going to trigger a lot of people because a lot of people in the Fallout series love to craft, but it's just not me. I'm not a much of a crafter. I love, I love the fact that the option to craft is here, but personally, I'm, I'm just not a crafter. I don't know what to say, you know? All right, come on, baby. Don't trigger that thing. Because I'm not ready. Let's go through here. This is where we killed our first sets of geckos. All right.
right, and this is where we kill the second set of geckos. These little aqueduct things or whatever are pretty cool, man. All right, this is where we save the lady. I'm not gonna loot yet. Right now, I have a I have a an objective that I want to take care of. All right, hello. Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine, just fine. All right, now we're gonna be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. All right. Campfire, healing power, or powder, except yes. Hey, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Alright, will do. That's actually where we met uh, Sunny at. So let's go ahead and make our way down to the Prospector's Saloon. Hopefully we don't trigger that thing again. So we'll try to keep our distant or uh keep ourselves to the left that literally seems so far away but it really wasn't that far and if we had the ability to sprint that really wouldn't be that far would it so as far as scenery goes man i really do love the mojave dude it looks really freaking cool here in fallout man I love this game. I really do. I'm very, very happy. Very, very excited to be playing this, as a matter of fact. Similar to uh, Fallout 3, though, I might be... Well, I mean, I haven't installed any mods on Fallout 3, but... I might install a mod on this game. Uh, just that we are able to sprint, man. Because this, without a sprint, it's brutal, man. I don't need any of that right now. Let's go. Prospector's Saloon. Alrighty. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not gonna buy something, get out. Hey, wait! Oh, well, he's gone. <laughs> you! Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Um, I overheard your argument. What was that all about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged in the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. So where's Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Uh, why not just kill a cop and be done with it? You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. Uh, so we got a good impression about these people. They're good people. So, what are you going to do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Powder gangers? Chang gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. <laughs> it was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Okay. Uh, never mind. Let's talk about something else. All right. So what happens if I help Ringo? If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the powder gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. 
Uh, so if I help Ringo and Good Springs, uh, Wood Spr uh, and Good Springs will help, will like me more. My God, man, I can't read right now. Uh, what if I help the Powder Gangers? Don't know why you want to do a thing like that. Yep, you get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. So okay, uh, so who was that man you were arguing with? He's a convict, just without the chains. Said his name was Cobb. Powder gangers is what they call themselves. Plenty more like him out there. Um, do you know anything about the rescued that re uh, robot that rescued me? I know that thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. Uh, what does he actually do around here? Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. So I get the impression that you don't like him? It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. I find it all very creepy. So if you don't like him, how long uh, has he been here in White Springs? And you have to be dealing with him and stuff. It was here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. Damn. Some people have said its owner lived here, but no one knows who it was. All right, let's talk about something else. Fine by me. Um, anything interesting going on the rest of the wasteland? There's always something interesting going on. But the biggest news has to be the coming dust up between the NCR and the Legion over the dam. Uh, what can you tell me about the Legion? Slavers, killers, and all other kinds of trouble. They dress up like Roman soldiers, so there's no mistaking it when you see them. The rumor is, is that the Legion is far larger than the NCR lets on. And that it's been due to luck that the Legion hasn't overrun the territory. Damn, like that? Uh, why do you think the NCR and the Le uh, Legion both want the dam? I'm pretty sure the NCR wants to hold on to the dam because it's one of the few places around that can make electricity. The Legion are a bunch of savages, though. No idea why they'd want the dam. Probably plan on destroying it or something. Uh, I'm trying to track down the people who attacked me. Know anything about them? Not much, other than they're a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident. And it hasn't been working since. Did my attacker say where they were going? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. It sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Why is that? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. Uh, so where were they headed? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Uh, want me to take a look at your broken radio? Sure. The outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. Caps? I like caps. Does Good uh, Springs get many vi visitors? Mostly traders looking to buy bighorn or meat and hides. The traders are the main reason the general store manages to stay in business. Most travelers heading south on the I-15 just push on towards Prim, unless they're in desperate need of supplies. Okay, tell me about the NCR. The New California Republic's got the most power in Nevada. Money, troops, you name it. They do what they can to keep things safe in the region. But if you ask me, they're trying to do too much. They're spread too thin. Um, okay, what do you have for sale? Got a special discount for you, after what you've done for us. Oh, why, thank you. Atomic cocktail. No. Fixing things, repair, all right. Um, meeting people. Uh, how much caps do I have? 68? Okay. Salesman. Barter. All right. That'll that'll have to do. Thank Give you. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Will do. See you Be later. Be careful out there. Let's take a look at your radio. I don't know if we can fix that. Uh, activate radio. Repair 20 or... Okay, repair the radio. Hey, I fixed the radio for you. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. I fixed your radio. Yeah, I heard it turn right back on after you got done tinkering with it. Took Here's me like two seconds. Work. Uh, that's it? Are you implying that I've done shoddy w Does this hurt my reputation? Let's try it. Not at all. 
I'm never sure how much is normally charged for this sort of thing. Here's some additional caps. That should be enough. Now, how about spending some of those caps in the saloon? I already bought some stuff from you, lady. Be careful out there. All right. Well, let's go. What's my quest, anyways? Um. Offer to help Ringo. Let's go help Ringo. He's in that place up there. And this is Doc's house right here. Have we checked his mailbox? I don't remember. Oh, it's empty. Hold on, let's check these two really fast. And then we'll go over there and talk to Ringo Star. Mailbox, ashtray, wonder glue. No, thank you. No, thank you. All right, I think we're I think we're good with mailboxes. Oh wait, nope. I spoke too soon. Walk faster, damn it. And it's empty. Thank you for very much for that. So we got to go straight north. Let's handle some business, baby. Alrighty. Vending machine? Don't mind if I do. That's close enough. Whoa, chill out, bro. Who are you? What do you want with me? Uh, I'm not an enemy, if that's what you're asking. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of caravan? You know how to play? Uh, did you know there's a man named uh, Joe Cobb looking for you? Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. Uh, are you... What are you gonna do about the powder gangers? I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. They won't do that. Uh, maybe I can help you, though. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Just the now, two of us. If some of the other people in town were also on board. Uh, I'll ask around and see who we can round up. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Okay, there's a magazine right here though. I can I saw it a long time ago. All right, let's go. Where's Sunny? All right. This should be interesting. This is our moment of truth. Let's see if we actually took care of business the right way. Oh, she's barely getting there. Look, you can see Cheyenne right there. We're not going to beat her. Nope. All right. Let's go inside. Sunny. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Yeah, just a little while. Uh, I'm going to help Ringo take the powder gangers. I might need your help. Say no more. I'm in. That was easy. <laughs> well, that was easy. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo. But I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. You're right. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere. And Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. Um. Alright, let's, let's go ahead and ready. get with this. Trudy needs... Barter? Oh, no, no. She needs speech 25, right? Wait, hold on. My skills, speech, I'm at... I'm already at 25. All right. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. All right. You should help me take down the powder gang. Uh, bullets, explosions, lots of fun. I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason, I can't help but like you. I'm with you. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. A general store probably has what we need in stock. Probably. All right, let's go check on, uh, on everybody there. else then. 
All right, so let's go. Let's go with energy weapons. Actually, right now it'll probably be better if we do barter 25, medicine. We'll, oh dude, I think we're gonna be good. We just did Shruti, so we don't need speech anymore. Explosives, good. Barter 25. I think we're good. The rest, I think, are gonna put it into uh, energy weapons. Let me look around again one more time. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Yep, I think we're good. So first things first. What can we do? Huh. We could go with intense training and put it into luck. Rapid reload, what do we need here? Guns 30? Hold on, let me see something. Where's my guns at? Nah, yeah, we'll, we'll leave it here. Alright, and we'll put it into intense training, and then we'll put this into luck. There we go. We should be good now. Alright, Easy Pete. Howdy. Talk to me. What can Easy Pete do for you? Uh, I hear you've got dynamite. It would help us beat the powder gangers. Too dangerous. Only kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. You know Safely. what? Don't worry about it, sir. I'm good. I'm familiar with the care and handling of explosives. Dynamite included, actually. Uh-huh. Guess you know what you're doing. I'll go dig it up and get it ready. You'll have it by the time the fighting starts. All right. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. All right. So now let's go talk to Chet over at Good Spring. I mean, the the uh, general store. Hey, what's up, Chet? You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps, if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Alright, uh, well, I will probably get to that in a second, but first things first, uh, I need supplies to fight the Powder Gangers. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the Powder Gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Uh, about that. Uh, let me take over, uh, let them take over the town then. I'm sure your business will be much better off. You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. And, uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. I have to put my business first. You understand. Sure. Let's see what he has for sale. Um, so ammo. A lot of ammo. 9mm extended pistol. Uh, mags, I mean. Uh, ammo box. Small energy cell bulk. Um, I mean, he's got a lot of pretty good stuff, all things considering. Energy cells, 51. I'm probably going to end up coming back for that. How many caps do I have? 100. <laughs> um, I think we're good. Ooh. That's expensive, though. I can't afford that at all. Plasma pistol? Can't even afford the plasma pistol. Um... No, I think we're good. Barman Rifle Night Scope. Uh, I think I'm good. Alright, let's go. Take it easy now. Who do we have left? I think we just have Doc Mitchell. And then with Doc Mitchell... Oh, look. This guy's wearing a leather armor now. Since we beefed up the, the this town's defenses. Doc Mitchell, Doc Mitchell, I got something to tell you. Or ask you, actually. Where are you at, Doc? There you are. What's up, bro? Welcome back. 
I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? So, I need medical supplies. Uh, this, this town's going to be attacked by bandits. Anything you can do to help? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. That's the wasteland for you. I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce. But I'll give you what I can spare. Hell yeah. Uh, they'll be using explosives. Do you have something more for serious in in uh, injuries? I ain't got much, but it'll do you more good out there than it will in here. Take what I got. Yay! You take care now. Nice. All right. So, what's the mission now? Hold on. Let's check the mission. Uh, return to Ringo and let him know. Okay. Honestly, I think we did everything. All right. Let's go in here. Hey, Ringo. Guess what? So, what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? Absolutely. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. There is. Let's do this. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. Ooh, I want to play. What are we playing? Caravan? How many are there? At least six. Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. Well, then let's go. Oh, Easy P came through with the dynamite. Here's your supply. I really hope I don't blow myself up. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. All right. Let's go destroy us some uh, powder gangers. All right, let's go ahead and run faster because <laughs> with that open, it kind of sucks. Alright, I kind of want to be the center of attention. Well, first things first, I need to put on some armor, don't I? Um, okay, I got it. Uh, what's the biggest DT? 8, 8, 12. Let's put on the metal armor. Nope. Look at me, all sexy. Let's, uh, let's throw some... Some dynamite. Oh, God. Come on, baby. Chuck that shit. Dude, I just... I just destroyed everybody. Woo-wee. Idolized. That's... That's what I've been waiting for. Very nice. Villainified? Okay, I don't care. First things first, let's go ahead and... I owe damn you it. a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. Uh... Uh, you're welcome. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. If you ever visit New Vegas, look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp. Will do. So let's go ahead and loot everybody really fast. Or uh, at least check everybody out first. Desperado, I like that. All right, I'll take these. I've always liked... Oops, I just took that. All right. I've always liked that, um, that armor. I don't know why, but it's a faction armor. Does this dude have a... Oh, he has a shotgun. Uh, I'm not... I'm not wanting that. Is this Joe Cobb? Nope. Where's uh where's Joe Cobb at? Did I miss him? Let's take this varmint rifle so we can uh fix up ours. Oh wait, here he is. No, that's just a regular powder ganger. I don't know which one Joe Cobb is or was. Cause that's just a regular one. Oh, that's Joe Cobb. We've already looted him. All right. But that pretty much is going to do it for us in this video, you guys. We did everything we wanted to do. So next thing, we're going to leave and redo our traits. And then we're going to basically 
move on from there we already know where to go next we're going to be going over to prim so if that's something that you guys are looking forward to in the next episode do me a huge favor drop a like on this video also subscribe to the channel because we are definitely going to be doing a lot more when it comes to uh fallout new vegas i'm very excited for this series and i hope you are too so with that being said catch you guys in the next video deuces Thank you.